Yes. 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 Yeah. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well in the sense that um, this guy, Kigami, the guy whom I showed you, um, is the president. And he has realized that the war. Which, dis which killed the Rwanda genocide, which resulted to the death of 800,000 people, some people put it at 1 million people, was caused by tension over ethnicity, ethnic tension. And so he's trying to gradually take, wipe away that. In fact, he was so mad at the French, the role the French played, because as I said, the French were supporting both sides, that um, um, he has even abolished French as the official language in Rwanda. He has made English as the official language. You know, and so um, he is working really hard to avoid the ethnic tension. As I said, beyond the fact that um, he is becoming a dictator because you know, he's been there since 1994, in all other spheres, he's doing really, really well. In fact, Rwanda, the, the, the Rwanda parliament has far more female representatives than any parliament in Africa. So yeah, that's going really, really, really well. That um, if you call yourself a Hutu or you call yourself a Tutsi, you will run far, afoul of the, the law. You will be probably arrested. So that, that's, that's, that seems to be working well. And people are looking at that model for other states in Africa. Because Rwanda and Burundi are not the only places that have fought you know, civil wars on the basis of ethnic tension. There are other places that have experienced that as well. But he's really pushing that hard. And so far, so good. It seems to be going well. Yes? Um, so under Kami, then, Rwanda appears to be rather stable. Very stable. What is the, is the condition in Burundi the same? Relatively, compared to how they have lived before. This is one of the longest periods they have experienced peace. From 2005 to now, no serious clashes at all. There are clashes here and there, but no threat of civil war at this point. And it comes back to the point I, I, I made when I said um, um, Habi Remana went to, to Burundi to say, if you guys know peace, we will know peace. So there is peace in Rwanda. Rwanda is so stable that, um, and it's a tiny country, um, that um, it has even contributed troops in stabilizing the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is 80 times bigger than Rwanda. It has even contributed troops. And I am originally from Sierra Leone, although now I'm from Kalamazoo. I'm originally from Sierra Leone, and then originally from Philadelphia, and now originally from Kalamazoo. <laughs> so, um, but um, um, in Sierra Leone, as some of you may have heard, you may have heard about blood diamonds. There was a terrible civil war there, very, very terrible. But to um, reinforce the point that um, Rwanda is so stable, in fact, when the rebels were tried in Sierra Leone, the Sierra Leone government was so scared that if we jail these guys, if we imprison these guys here in Sierra Leone, all the rebels will come in to free them up. And so they, 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 arrest, they, they, they sentenced them to life imprisonment. Some were sentenced to 200 years in prison. And all of them were taken from Sierra Leone, brought to Rwanda, where they are serving their jail terms right now. That, that's how stable and strong Rwanda is becoming. So it's very stable, and that is spilling over to Burundi. Yes, sorry I kept you waiting for too long. Sorry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting question. Yeah. Um, I am not 100% certain whether Rwanda, Burundi is um, patriarchal or matriarchal. Uh, but um, from what I know in Rwanda, if 
the dad is Tutsi and then the mom is Hutu, the child is considered Tutsi. From what I know in Rwanda. And I, I can only guess here that um, it's the same for Burundi since they share a similar history. I'm sorry that I don't have a definitive answer, but that's just my wild guess. Yes, sir. Would you go back five centuries and tell me the relationship between the Tutsis and the Hutus, the two tribes, the two clans? Go back five centuries. Well, I'll go back five centuries in one sentence. The relationship was good. What do I mean? Uh, before the Europeans got there, the Tutsis in Burundi in particular are kind of pastoralists. The Hutus were a kind of agriculturalist. They farm, they make gardens, and so on and so forth. So that's the kind of relationship that existed. And again, as I said, the whole thing about Tutsi, Hutu, that vocabulary did not exist before 1885, which was the start of the carving up of many of these places. So they saw themselves purely as in other places in Africa, as belonging to this clan, belonging to this household, belonging to this village, belonging to that town. So that's how they saw themselves. They never identified themselves along ethnic lines, which means along a particular identity that makes you distinct from me. This distinction, many scholars have argued, was um, invented and exported to Africa for purposes of administration, for purposes of exploitation. And so um, it was only when the Belgians started saying, yeah, you are Tutsi, you look like this, you have these kind of features, or oh, these guys are Hutus, you look like this, you have these kind of features, that that kind of consciousness started developing. And when that consciousness developed, power became the magnet, you know, that attracted the tension. And the tension, of course, resulted into bloodshed. I don't know whether that captures what you're looking for. So yeah, before, before 1885, before the Europeans went there, you know, they purely lived along, um, a along peaceful, you know, they lived on as peaceful neighbors. They lived as peaceful brothers and sisters, you know. But um, it changed with um, the insertion of European mentality or idea of what power is and who power should belong to. That's why in addition, in, 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 in Addition to her question, that's why Kigami is trying to abolish that now. He's saying, let's go back to where we were before the Europeans came in. That is his project. Let's go back to where we were. So we, meaning identity should not be significant at all.